name is Caroline Raven, this is Lord Stinkleton, and we're gonna do a Q&A. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately, so I thought I'd give you guys a little, you know, uh, what's up, what's going on, and uh, yeah, answer some of your guys' questions. So the past couple of weeks have been very intense. We're doing Robin 4 on Kickstarter right now. If you haven't checked it out already, you have to go check it out because we're doing really, really well, if I can say so myself. We're currently at, I think it's like almost 450% funded, which is amazing. So that happened, and during the time that we launched the campaign, I did a one hour hung out with, like I did a YouTube live thing, and during that time, when I was doing the one hour, I was so sweaty and everything was insane. You know, I was I was feeling nauseous and I couldn't smell anything and my, my taste was gone because uh, I had uh, the coronavirus and it sucked. It was ridiculous. Like, it really, really sucked. So I was in bed for almost two weeks and I didn't tell anyone because, you know, I... I sucked. Uh, I should have told you guys. Well, I did tell people on my Patreon and then I posted one photo where I kind of mentioned that I'd been sick. Uh, but yeah, I got the virus and, uh, you know, it was great. I, well, that wasn't great. There was like this driver who came to me with a test and I did the test in my own house and shipped it in and uh, two days later I got a message on my phone saying that I had the virus. Well, like, not really like a text message, it was more like you had to log in and you know, all of that stuff into the hospital stuff. Um, yeah, I got the virus and uh, and then I got better, which was great. So now I've been free from it for, it kind of sounds like an AA meeting does. Well, I've not been coughing for five days now, <laughs> but that's not, you know, I'm, I'm still having like very dry coughs that happens like, um, it kind of happens like out of nowhere. It's not like I have a sore throat or headaches or anything like that anymore. It's more like it just comes like, <laughs> you know, like that. And I can't really, <laughs> like that, you know? And I can't really control when it happens. So today I'm gonna do a couple of questions that I got from my Instagram. So we're gonna take the phone out. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that was a, uh, a video of myself. Okay, I'm getting a lot of weird questions like this one right here. Uh, what planets should align? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't even ha know how that works. So, what animals should I sacrifice? Preferably none. Uh, so, and it also says, so D random comments picker pick my name on your YouTube giveaways. I'll do my best. It's not, it's, I, okay, so, so if we don't know each other yet, my name is Caroline Raven, I'm a magician, and I love what I do, it's the best job in the world, and every Friday I do a deck review, and most of the times, it's a 24 hour giveaway, and most of the times I just ask one of my friends, like, oh, can you say a number between this and this? What happens is that we get a random number and that person wins, right? It's raining in Stockholm, so everything is like super dark around me, so I have to put like lights up here to make this, you know, look uh, good enough, I guess. Anyway, so this is my, this is my one person couch. You can't really see the end of it, but the end is literally right here. Uh, it's actually really nice. I bought it myself. Yeah, not a sponsored video in any way. Next question is, would you go on Pell and Teller fool us? You would definitely be entertaining. Uh, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I actually submitted a video last season and uh, we actually talked about me coming over, but it didn't happen and now I don't want to travel, so we'll see. Maybe one day. I mean, I, I would have a good time if I go. Will the crayfish party still happen in Sweden this year in August, as usual? I think so. Yeah, I do think so. What is happening with my lights? Do you see that? It's like it's getting weaker and weaker. Crayfish parties are still happening. Uh, we're keeping it limited, of course, and we're keeping our distance. Every year in August, we have crayfish parties where we dress up in like silly hats and you know, we eat crayfish because it's the best thing in the world. Uh, so we're probably gonna go to a couple of those, me and my boyfriend. Next question. Will there be more up upgrade about the campaign on Kickstarter? Uh, we're upgrading things all the time as we go through different, you know, uh, stretch goals and stuff like that. The more money we like collect into the campaign, the more we can upgrade all the decks. So the next thing that's coming is that we're gonna do inner printing on the red and the blue. So that's really, really cool. We're super excited about that. Would you publish your own book, non-magic related topic? Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. What's been your favorite deck to review you have done and who do you watch for reviews? Oh, I don't watch any other reviews. I just do my own and I watch those because I think it's fun. Um, I brought with me the one that I enjoy doing the most. It's uh, this one, Cobra Playing Cards. I think these are really, really cool. By JP Games, really, really nice. Designed by Rick Davidson. Uh, Carta Mundi deck, really, really cool. If you haven't picked it up already, you should. This is really, really good. Who is your favorite magician? Rob Sabrecki. Yes, and Chad Lung. They both, uh, they're equal in my book. 
Um, I also like David Copperfield a lot. I went to go see Chris Angel's show and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so this is a fun question. If animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? I'm thinking flies, like house flies. I don't know why. That's like my number one thing that I think of. Maybe pandas because they're so cute and maybe they just inner like in inside they're so anxious and angry and they just want to you know get it all out of their system. So maybe here's a good one. Who's the best looking magician? Well, I think that I am. Or maybe Andrei Pshinichka. Mm, forever magic crush. When are you gonna come to Philadelphia and visit? Oh, you want to meet me to visit you and Frank is tea. Oh, I love Frank. He's so cool. Um, haven't been to Philadelphia, so Link is playing in the background. You wanna come up? Wanna join the video? Yeah, come up. Link is in the video. Yeah. Linky, dinky, stinky. Oh, you're the cutest. Okay. Okay. Help. How many selfies do you take a day? Too many? Move on. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Ben and Jerry's half baked, 100%. Yes. Could you come to Turku Obo? Where is that uh, to perform? Oh, I think that might be in, uh, in Finland, is it? I would love to, I love Finland. What's your favorite song to sing in the shower? Probably, probably something from A Star Is Born. How did you get into magic? My grandfather was a magician and my dad is a politician, so lying on the job was always encouraged. And yes, that is part of my, my script for my show. But yeah, I started doing magic when I was really young. My grandfather did in fact do magic for me and it was great. But I've been doing magic full time for almost six and a half years now. And uh, yeah, you know, it, it's the best job in the world. It really is. Someone asked me to show my feet and that's just strange. So we're gonna, you know, move on. How many decks have you created and where can I get them? So we're currently running the Kickstarter campaign for Raven 4. And it's gonna be, you know, the first campaign was Raven, well, version one. So that was um, the red and the green. And then we did a purple one for the second campaign. And then third campaign we did black, yellow, and blue. And then we ended up doing another yellow for the summer ale. And now we're doing uh, red, blue, uh, X and limited X. So we're currently on number 11, I guess. So 8, 9, 10, 11 right now. So that's very, you know, cool and everything. Favorite kind of magic to watch and favorite kind to perform. Favorite type of magic to perform, I would say, is on a close up camera on a big stage, preferably on a cruise. And that's like my number one favorite thing. Uh, favorite thing to watch? David Copperfield's show. Yes, always. I love David Copperfield. He's the best. How old are you? I just turned 30. Yes. I uh, just have to call my Botox lady after I'm done with this because I'm getting wrinkles. Kidding, 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 okay? How do you like your Invisaligns? Are they working? I, I had braces, invisible braces called Invisalign. I took them out in February, I think. And yeah, it was great. It was, it was amazing. Um, so now my teeth are, you know, aligned. I have my monitor here, so I'm you know, flexing. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was it was great. I mean, sometimes it hurts. You know, you had like plastic things that you had to put in your mouth and you have to switch them every 10 days. And it's like, it was like it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. So of course the first couple of days was hard, but you know, it was still great. Okay, here's a fun one too. Which magician do you think has hit on you the most? Andrei Pshinichka. And also a couple of others. <laughs> no, uh, who else? Um, Yuho Jin at FISM in Rimini. That was interesting. I really like Yuho Jin. He's really cool. Would you ever consider coming to India? I would love to come to India. Come to France. Yes, I would love to. Okay, this is nice. Not a question. Just want to say you're amazingly gorgeous. I'm just gonna take that in for a second. Just let it, you know, sink in. I actually wrote it twice, that was nice. Could you please come back to Norway? I would love to come to Norway. So many good questions, you guys. Do you do sponge balls in walk around shows? No, I don't do sponge balls. I only do sponge balls when at the end of my, my theater show. I end my show with Benz and Burner, so there's like a million sponge balls. So I'm kind of sick of them when I go into close up, so I don't really bring them along with me. Would you ever consider coming to California? Yes, I go to California once a year at least. I'm not gonna go this year, unfortunately, but you know. Do you have any advice for getting more gigs. I have a couple of really good advice, but you know, it's it, to sum it all up, I think the more people who see you perform and see who you are, the more, you know, likable you are and all of that stuff, it's going to get much easier for people to book you. So, the more people who see you, the more people are going to, you know, potentially hire you. So, my advice is to just go out and perform as much as you possibly can. Oh, someone says, "Haha, this might sound scary, but I dreamt about you last night." 
that's fine. Would you consider coming to Singapore? And I love Singapore. If you haven't been to Singapore, you have to go. Yeah, I do enjoy it really much. Um, I was there, last time I was there was like three years ago and I had a really, really good time. So that was it for the question for today. I really, really enjoy doing it. So thank you for all the fun questions and let's do this again soon. If you haven't already subscribed, it's about time because I put out weekly videos and every Friday there's a new deck review. So there's a new deck review coming out tomorrow. So make sure you don't miss that. So turn on those notifications and I'll see you guys back, well, tomorrow. Okay, bye.